I'm clearly not comfortable with camera. You can tell. Hello, my big and little art lovers. I hope you're all staying home, staying safe, and staying positive. While this quarantine is keeping us indoors, we're obviously all looking for things to do for ourselves and for our children. So today, I want to share with you a simple project that you can do together with your kids. Here it is! That little cute koala takes minimum art supplies and literally scraps that you can find around your home. This project was inspired by my series My Heart is with Australia. It's three mixed media koala paintings that I made with old magazines, old newspapers, and leftovers house paint. And I had so much fun making those little koalas that I thought I can repurpose it into something simple that you can do at your home together with your children and have just as much fun. It will take you just about a couple of hours to make this little guy. Let's get started. You will need canvas or paper, mixing palette, clean water, paper towel to clean your brushes, black paint, white paint, a couple of bright colors, soft brush, stiff brush, glue brush, glue, scissors, old newspaper, a piece of cardboard. I added brown color, but it's optional. Start with one bright color of your choice. I used yellow, but you can use blue, pink, orange. You can use green too, but I saved my green to paint leaves later. You will see. Cover your entire canvas or paper with this color. By the way, you don't have to use canvas or specialty paper if you don't have them. You can use a big piece of cardboard or plywood or even old cabinet door. Be creative. And it's a good idea to protect your surface from drips and splashes. Obviously, I didn't think about that and smudged my yellow all over my kitchen table. Luckily, it's easy to clean with some damp cloth. So do what I say, not what I do. Here you go, that's better. Take your newspaper and draw three circles, one for the head of your koala and two for the ears. You can use a coffee mug and a shot glass as your guides. Draw an oval shape for the body of your koala. It should be about twice as big as the head. Now cut all four shapes with the scissors. Please help your children or give them safe scissors if you are making this project together. Safety first. Arrange the shapes on your work surface. Doesn't look much like koala yet, right? That's okay. Put your newspaper shapes aside for now and take your piece of cardboard. Rip the top layer of the cardboard off. It doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, the chunkier the better. Now rip your cardboard into smaller pieces and throw them away. Just kidding. We will use these pieces to make the tree bark in just a second. Bring your painted paper back to the table. The paint should be dry by now. If not quite, it's okay. Just make sure it's not super wet. Use a pencil to roughly mark the tree trunk where you want it to be. I did it on both sides, but you don't have to. Start arranging pieces of cardboard along your pencil line. You don't have to fill all the gaps perfectly, but try to fill most of the trunk. Alternate the direction of texture and mix smooth pieces with rough pieces to create more organic look. When you are happy with the arrangement, start gluing cardboard pieces onto your paper one by one. You can use Elmer's glue, Tacky glue, or Mod Podge. The glue stick is not the best choice though. It doesn't stick to the painted surfaces very well. Take your time and make sure to glue all the pieces very well. I speed up this video just so you don't get bored looking at me. And don't forget to clean your brushes every time after using glue or paint. Now, let's paint the trunk. I use burnt sienna as my brown, bright green, and my background color. If you don't have brown, you can mix red and green together. You can also add a little yellow to make your brown lighter. Adding a tiny bit of your background color to the mix makes the painting look more sophisticated. A little professional tip. You don't have to cover 100% of your tree with paint. In fact, the patchy application makes it look more natural but try to fill all the gaps between the cardboard pieces where the background color shows through. Clean your brush and start arranging the newspaper parts on your painting to make it look like koala climbing on a tree. 
Then glue all the parts one by one onto your painting. You really want to thoroughly apply the glue all around the newspaper to avoid bubbles and loose edges. Also, pay attention to which part goes on top of another. I almost made a mistake here by gluing the head of my koala before its body. Press the paper down with your fingers and go have a cup of tea. You need to let it dry before the next steps. With your pencil, draw a big oval nose and the eyes on the face of your koala. Put some white and black paint on your palette and fill nose and the eyes of your koala with black color. Now it starts looking like something. Clean your brush and use white paint to outline the eyes, the top of the nose and the mouth area. And please forgive me for sticking my head into the frame. We will use dry brush technique with our stiff brush to create koala's fur. If you don't have a brush with stiff bristles, an old toothbrush will do the trick. Dip the brush just a little bit into the white paint and tap onto your palette a few times to remove excess paint. Then go all over your koala with very light strokes, creating hair-like marks. Then do the same with black paint. Highlight the contour of koala's head, chin, dark parts inside the ears and around the eyes. Paint black spots on the edge of the tree trunk to make it look like koala's paws. Keep adding dark spots to create the contour of koala's legs. Continue with the black paint until your koala looks fluffy enough. Don't worry if you feel like you overdid with black. Just add a little bit of white to the spots you want to make lighter. Then fix the edges of the nose and the eyes with black paint to make them crisp. And add white reflections in the pupils and the nose. Don't forget the nostrils. I used leftovers of green and brown to paint the leaves and branches around my koala. You can use different colors to paint flowers or clouds or even rainbow. Go to town, it's your koala, your forest and your rules. I decided to add some white highlights on the bark of my tree to add more depth. When you are happy with how your koala and surrounding forest turned out, trim the loose edges of the cardboard with scissors. I want to create some finishing touches by adding fun words and doodles with black pen. Here you have it, your koala is ready to be framed. I hope you like this project. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I have more of those coming soon. And I really want to see how your koalas turned out. So if you followed this project, please post your pictures on Facebook or Instagram and tag me at Galena Marcus Art on Instagram, Galena Marcus Art on Facebook, or use my funny koala hashtag so I can find your work. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.